Hello and welcome back to Maths Card. And now in this video, we are going to study how to obtain class boundaries, class mark, frequency density, relative frequencies, and percentage frequencies of the given class limits. So we have been given the class limits 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50. And the frequencies are 10, 12, 13, 10 and 5. Now first of all let us add up all the frequencies. So if we add these frequencies the total frequency would be 50. So here the total frequency that is n is equal to 50. Now we have been given the class limits. Now we see how do we convert them into class boundaries. Now the formula to convert class limits to class boundaries are LCB that is lower class boundary is equal to lower class limit minus D by 2 and UCB that is the upper class boundary is upper class limit plus D by 2. Now what exactly is D? D is nothing but the difference between the upper limit of a class and the lower limit of the consecutive class. So for example if we consider the first class over here the upper limit is 10 and the lower limit of the next class that is a consecutive class is 11. So there is a difference of 1 right. So we divide that difference by 2. So 1 divided by 2 that will be 0 0.5. Okay, so if you observe in these two classes as well, the upper limit is 20 and the lower limit of the next class is 21. So there is a difference of 1 between these two limits. So that difference is D and we divide by 2. So 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So basically to obtain the lower class boundary, we have to subtract 0 0.5 over here D by 2 and to obtain the upper class boundary, we need to add d by 2 that is 0 0.5 in this case. So we will obtain the boundaries now. So 1 minus 0 0.5 lower class boundary is lower class limit minus d by 2. Now in this case d by 2 is 0 0.5. So 1 minus 0 0.5 that would be 0 0.5 2 in the upper boundary for rather for the upper boundary we need to add 0 0.5 to the upper class limit. So 10 plus 0 0.5. So lower limit minus 0 0.5 and upper limit plus 0 0.5. So 10 plus 0 0.5 would be 10.5. Similarly for the next class 11 minus 0 0.5. So that is 10.5 and 20 plus 0 0.5 would be 20.5. Next 21 minus 0 0.5 would be 20.5 and upper boundary will be 30 plus 0 0.5 so that would be 30.5. Moving to the next one 31 minus 0 0.5 so that would be 30.5 to 40.5. And the last one would be 40.5 to 50.5. So basically we have converted the discontinuous class into continuous classes. Next we calculate the class mark. Now class mark could be calculated as upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2 or alternatively we could use the boundaries upper class boundary plus lower class boundary divided by 2. Now in this case let us use the limits only. So 1 plus 10 that would be 11 divided by 2. So the class mark or we also call it as the mid value. So this would be 5.5. Then 11 plus 20 31 divided by 2. So that would be 15.5. Here if we calculate this would be 25.5, next would be 35.5 and last class mark would be 45.5. So these are the class marks or we call them as the mid values.
नेक्स्ट इज वी कैलकुलेट फ्रीक्वेंसी डेंसिटी ऑफ ईच ऑफ द क्लासेस ना फ्रीक्वेंसी डेंसिटी इज कैलकुलेटेड एज क्लास फ्रीक्वेंसी अपॉन क्लास विथ एंड वॉट इज क्लास विथ इट इज अपर क्लास बाउंड्री माइनस लोअर क्लास बाउंड्री ना इन दिस केस द क्लास विथ इज कॉन्स्टेंट इज टेन सी अपर क्लास बाउंड्री माइनस लोअर क्लास बाउंड्री टेन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस पॉइंट फाइव सो क्लास विथ इज टेन Here as well, twenty point five minus ten point five. Again, that is ten. So throughout the class width is same, right? So that is ten. Now we calculate the frequency density, which is class frequency divided by class width. Now the frequency of this class is ten, and the class width is also ten. So ten divided by ten that gives us one. Next is frequency rather next frequency is 12 divided by class width that is 10 so this is 1.2 next frequency is 13 divided by 10 so that would be 1.3 next would be 10 divided by 10 so the frequency density is 1 and lastly 5 divided by 10 this gives us 0.5 so we have obtained the frequency densities next we obtain relative frequencies now relative frequency is nothing but ratio of class frequency to the total frequency now we've already calculated the total frequency as 50 so we have to divide each of the class frequencies by the total frequency that is 10 by 50 that would be for the first class So ten divided by fifty. Next would be twelve divided by fifty. Twelve divided by fifty. Next would be thirteen by fifty. So one three divided by fifty. Next would be ten by fifty. So ten divided by fifty. And last would be five divided by fifty. So five divided by fifty. Now, if we perform these divisions, we would obtain this would be zero point two zero, this would be zero point two four, this would result in zero point two six, this would be zero point two zero again, and this would be zero point one zero. Now, one small observation. If we add up all the relative frequencies, that is, sum of all the relative frequencies, right? This total would result in one. So the sum of all the relative frequencies is one. And lastly, we move to percentage frequency. Now, percentage frequencies are nothing but relative frequency in two hundred. So zero point two zero in two hundred. So that would be twenty. Zero point two four in two hundred would be twenty four. 0.26 into 100 would be 26. 0.20 uh, into 100 would be 20 again, and 0.10 into 100 would be 10. Now the sum of all these percentage frequencies would be 100. So this is how you calculate class boundaries, class mark, frequency density, relative frequency. and the percentage frequency so thank you for watching this video like it share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos thank you